Hello guys, I am back home from the Bowling Green Falcons game and it was a blast. Yeah, it helps that we won 27 to 6. But, and when I got there, there's police directing, directing traffic and all that. I mean, it's a madhouse. I was like, oh, if you're an alumni, pull here. If you're a student, pull in there. If you're already prepaid for your parking, you go over here. Well, I'm none of those. I'll just follow this Jeep that's in front of me. Parked in a field. And as I'm walking into the stadium, I'm saying like, well, that car has something hanging from their rearview mirror. So does that car and that car. Well, that one has something in their dashboard. Uh, I suppose I have a pass to be parking where I'm parked. And if I come out to a ticket, I come out to a ticket. Thankfully, that didn't happen. So, yeah. I haven't been to a game in person in years. So I'm wandering around trying to figure out where section 14L is. Get there, up a ramp, turn to right, go down these stairs. Oh, front row, seat one, row one, 14L, sit down. I am right behind the benches. I am right there where the players are, where the coaching staff is. You know, they got the people that are filling up the big things of like water or Gatorade, power. Actually, I think it was Powerade there. Thing is, not Gatorade, but still. I got the people filling that up, and then the cheerleaders and the band are walking around, and band performance, incredible, as always. I know Ohio State University has the best damn band in the land, but Bowling Green's got a great one, too. Guys, getting to sit there, getting to watch the game, getting to cheer, and then, like, the mascots walk by, reach over, get high fives from them. Like a player comes over, starts like high fiving player uh, fans in the stands. Got to reach out my hand, get a high five. Like if I was even just in the second row, I would have been able to do that. But because I'm front row, I could do all that. But just watching the game was incredible. Watching the punts, watching the kicks, watching the passes, watching the runs. I will admit, if I'd been maybe three or four rows higher, would have been a better view of the field. Cause like where I'm at, it's like, oh no, this player's you no know, in the way that of that run. Like when the guy ran to this side of the field, like all of a sudden you lose him behind the athletes, whatever, standing up watching and all that. But for the most part, so worth it. So freaking worth it. And it's like, oh, don't you want to go to Ohio State football game? It's only remortgaging your house prices for nosebleed seats. Like, you know what? I'll stick to MAC teams. Because the next week at the Bowling Green Falcons Toledo Rockets game, I'll be there. Visitor side, four rows back. So, yeah, I won't be able to, you know, reach out, get high fives from the mascots or from the players or anything. But I'll be able to watch. Most likely, not going to be a win. Toledo's good. Bowling Green's only okay. Like, if Toledo's, Toledo's a 7 out of 10... Bowling Green's a 6 out of 10. Like, they're good, but you never know. Any given Saturday, right? And the coolest thing ever. After the game, it's like, oh, you go around here, walk down these stairs, you go onto the field. Or, like, well, there's stairs right here, but it's the gate that goes to them is locked. A lot of people, that their legs are long enough, they just stepped over them. They're like, all right, I guess I'll follow them. Then, like, someone from security came over and yelled at us for doing that. Which I get, no, let's say someone tries that and they get hurt. Bowling well, Green could get in trouble, I'm sure. Because, well, uh, they should have had spikes and electric fence and armed security there to stop people from doing that. That's the only reason why I got hurt. Give me a million dollars. So I can understand why security yelled at us for doing that. I was like, well, do you want us to go back? It's like, you're already over. There's no point telling you to go back because then you got to climb back over the gate and kind of defeats the purpose of, like, not you doing that. <laughs> so yeah that was cool got to be out on the field and the marching band stayed and the stands was playing more songs people getting photographs with the players and all that it was just so cool great experience like something you do not get that in the pros you're not going out to the field after a football game between you know 49ers Seahawks getting the you know, photographs with the football team and all that like, you're not getting that from pro. Only in college are you getting that. And you know what? It was so fucking worth it. God.
I'm glad I got to go. Anyways, on to the videos. Here we go, kick off! Get that touchdown.
Satan's crawling scent of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. And whosoever shall be found without the soul for getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell and rot inside a corpse of shell. The foulest benches in the air, the fuck of 40,000 years, and grisly tombs from every tomb are closing to seal your doom. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver. <laughs> that is awesome! It's so cool.
Azam. <laughs>